Hi, YouTubers. This is Johnny again. Um, welcome back to my NASA channel. Um, in today's video, I'm going to talk about uh, how to do a quick threat hunting using some online website and open source scripts, as I show in my blog post here. Um, it, I just started and I was thinking maybe uh, the work I'm done may be helpful for you too. So some, sometimes I need to verify tons of IPs, uh, reputation, because we got a lot of access logs from those IPs, but we don't know if those IP are valid or not. So we can use wireless total usually to check that. You can enter any IPs from here and then see how the reputation looks like is any um, findings, any people complain about this IP address. Um, so you can do URL as well. Um, but if you have tons of IP, how are you gonna do it? You cannot enter it here all the time to try to find out if this website or this URL, this IP address is having issue or not. So I found out the less uh, GitHub script the automator from Tech Defense, um, which is very helpful to do this job. I'm gonna present that. If you are lazy, you can use uh, some bulk blacklist to check, verify um, uh, li your list as well. Uh, I have an example here. One to six IP address as a list. You can put them more, I put like a 15 much. IP which is running fine. I mostly I put it around 60, 70, and then it quickly shows you if this IP has any spam or bad blacklist from somewhere else. So this give me give you an example. Uh, but for wireless total, there's an API you can apply for it. Um, there's a five uh, five. IPs limitations per minute, I get, I think. Um, but uh, with this GitHub script automator, it will be very helpful to let you to do uh, these things quickly. So here is my example to present it, how we can use it. First thing you need to make sure you have um, Git installed. If you didn't do that, just do install Git and then I never give you the installation git. After that, you just copy the GitHub um, command from here and then just clone I already did that before, so let me remove it first. Um, then you took GitHub copy clone command. So there's uh, probably 136 kilobytes data gonna be downloaded on your machine. And you can take a look what has been downloaded. Um, there's some Python files, some documents, some XML. Um, the most, we're gonna run this one, Python Automate. So you can use Python, Automate, and with Edge, you're gonna get a help screen. Uh, if you want to just do one IP, let's see, what is my IP? With one IP, you can just easily just put an IP behind this command. Let it run, then you will get the result. As some warning here, it says uh, you probably want to use HTTPS request, um, but it's just a warning, it doesn't affect in any function here. So you can just say, feel safely ignore that. So 
So um, probably 10 seconds, you will get all results, findings. Um, if we need to do um, a bunch of IPs, for example, like 100 IP address, so what you're gonna do is gonna need to create a X file first. Um, just um, paste all your IP address. I'm gonna use in six IPs, which here as an example. And then there's some uh, you can use in this as a source file and then write the result into a text file, into HTML, whatever you want. And um, then later on you can read it. So command will be like Python automator uh, test.txt will be a source file. Then you're gonna write it output to, for example, test out. And, and then you can write to .csv file. Also, you can write it to HTML. And uh, there's some commands you can put behind it because of the limitation you want. You don't want to um, let website block your access. So you want to maybe want to put 10 seconds for each uh, delay, 10 seconds. So that will give you some enough time to finish your work uh, without um, violating um, wireless totals uh, limitation. So there's uh, some, I typed it wrong here, it's W. So basically this command telling uh, Python to run automator.py file and uh, the source file, source IP, we will get it from test.txt and then the output will be three different output, the test dot out test dot csv test dot html with delay for 10 seconds for each ip it's gonna take um probably a couple of minutes to get it done i will just pause my video recording and then i will come back once it's done after a couple of seconds you will see this warning message again um, so it's normal, you can feel safely ignore it. Uh, basically, um, Automator gonna check a bunch of um, in security intelligent websites like uh, Void, IP Void, like uh, Wireless Total, also Alien Vault, uh, Fort IP, Forty Guard, those kind of Lop attacks, those kind of uh, online web security database to verify if there's any record to describe this IP has some uh, malware or has some thing to worry about it. If nothing be found, they will just show you no result found. As you can see from previous scan, they, they went to Project Honeypot, Sense, Frigio IP, IP void, mail code, those kind of websites. They're trying to see uh, if they can find anything relating to this IP. So it's still ongoing. Um, I'm gonna continue to pause it until we finish the scanning. Okay, as we can see, the test result has come out. Let's uh, take a look. So that's a result found for all machines. Um, we have six machines here. First machine, no result found in the R text DNS. After that, no result from here, no result found. Very good. Reputation authority score is 50. I think it's neutral. Um, no result found in the THIP. So this um, bunch of Security websites they have been checking, not finding anything there. Same thing on this machine, nothing been found so far. 
sometimes been found in sands. Okay, so uh, basically we got all resolved. We have CSV file as well. Um, that probably will give you a better idea using the Excel to filter them and find out the uh, information as well. Uh, if you want to see HTML file, that's okay. You can output it to a www website and show it on a um, um, web browser. So basically just a table there to show you all the findings. I found this tool automator is very helpful and um, and keep using it. If you found any better tools, please let me know. I'm gonna check it out. Uh, thank you for watching. Enjoy your day.